Hello students, welcome. In this video, we are going to cover the first chapter of computer of class 3 that is computer system. Okay. So students, in this chapter, we will see the different concepts that is related to the computer. First of all, we will see what is computer, okay, its definitions and the next that we will cover that is what are the different types of tasks that a computer can perform. After that, we will see what is the working structure of a computer, how a computer works, okay. So, let us start. So, first of all, we will see the definition of a computer, okay. So, what is computer? How do we define a computer? So, students basically computer is an electronic device okay that performs performs many tasks many tasks as per the instructions given okay so how we can define the computer computer is an electronic device okay what is computer computer is an electronic device why it is electronic device because it runs with the help of electricity so electronic device that performs many tasks as per the instructions given so how does it work it works based on the instructions given to it okay so who used to give the instruction to the computer the user the person who is using the particular computer is used to give the instructions like open ms word open paint okay so in this way we used to give a lot of instructions and the based on the instructions computer follow this and it works okay so you might have got the definition of computer like how we can define the computer so as i have mentioned computer can help us in different way so let us see where it helps and how okay so it helps in where computer helps so first thing is that it plays music and videos so with the help of computer we can play music and videos second thing typing okay it help us in typing like we can write letter email okay preparing question papers questions etc so in this way it will help us drawing picture with the help of a computer you can draw pictures okay also we can see the pictures so it displays pictures okay stores data 
fine so computer can stores a large number of data for us we can send emails okay with the help of computer we can send emails with the help of computer schools can collect fees okay similarly we can perform calculations okay so in this way there are a lots of tasks which computer performs and help us so let us see one by one all once again so what it does it plays music and videos we can play the music we can play the videos in computer system we can type letter email preparing questions etc whatever we want to type in the computer that we can type over here the next thing is drawing pictures we can draw lots of pictures okay we can also play games etc in computer apart from all this we can see the pictures also computer stores our data so that we can use it in the later on as per the requirement as per the need okay apart from all this we can send emails also with the help of internet through the computer we can send emails to our friends okay with the help of computer schools college etc used to collect the fees okay apart from all this we can perform calculations we can perform mathematical calculations okay with the help of a computer with this there are a lots of a more tasks that a computer can work for us so it help us in a many way okay so students i hope you might have got the idea how computer help us so now we will see how computer works we'll understand in what way the computer works okay so first of all students as we know that computer is not a human okay so definitely to perform certain task it will have to ask okay we will have to ask something we will have to give some sort of instructions okay so basically computer works based on the three stages okay we'll see what are those stages so it works based on three steps or you can say three stages it works based on three stages okay so what all are these what are these three states so first of all let us see this is the first stage this is the second stage and this is the third stage okay so in the first stage basically input is provided okay in the next stage the input is processed okay and in the final stage we used to get the output okay so let us understand all these stages so basically here there are three stages input processing and output so we got three terminologies this three terminologies okay so we'll see one by one so first of all what is this input so students suppose when we switched on our system okay and after that we want to perform 
calculations ok. So, what we required? We required a calculator and then we will have to required some numbers to perform some operations or calculation on those ok. So, let us see we have already opened a calculator and we want to add these two numbers. Suppose, we have 2 and 4 and we want to add these two ok. So, in the input what we will provide? We have already opened a calculator and we will provide input 2 and 4 ok and what we want to perform that is plus ok. So, this is our input. So, what is input? Input is nothing but basically the instructions ok. The instructions that we provide to the computer in order to perform task. So, we have given the instructions like add 2 plus 4. So, these instructions will be passed to the stage 2 ok. So, in stage 2 what will happen whatever the instructions that is received over here. The instruction what is here received? We have provided the input 2 plus 4 and we need to perform the addition. This instructions will be passed to the stage 2. Here, this instructions will be processed internally ok and will get the result. So, what it means? We have provided 2 plus 4 in the input stage ok where these two stages will be processed in the second stage and that result will be prepared for us, final result will be prepared for us. So, here what is happening? Whatever the instructions we have provided here that is processed ok, that instructions is processed over here in the stage 2, fine. So, finally after processing this result is displayed to us on our screen ok as a result. What as a result? So, in the final stage, in the third stage, we are getting the result, ok. That is, what is the result? Addition of this 2 is 6, ok. So, we are getting 6 as the output, that is the final result, ok. So, in this way, the computer basically works. So, the first stage is input stage where the user provide the input. Second stage is processing stage where the input provided by the user is processed ok. Suppose you want to add it will perform addition operation. If you want to subtract it will perform subtraction operation whatever the instructions which you have given ok. Suppose you want to open any file whether word paid, not paid, paint etcetera ok. So, you have provided the instruction open this file for me that instructions will be processed and finally, you will get the output in the third stage ok. So, students I hope you might have got the complete idea about working of a computer ok. And all these three stages ok, all these three stages collectively known as what it known as? It is known as IPO cycle. So, IPO cycle ok. So, collectively all these three stages that is input stage, process stage and output stage all three are known as IPO cycle ok. So, you may get some questions from here also. Ok. So, students I hope uh, you might have got the idea about how the computer works ok. We have seen what is computer, the definition of a computer and what are the tasks that a computer performs and how it help us. Also, we have seen how computer works ok. So, we have covered all these sections ok. We have covered all these topics. So, students if you have any doubt in any point ok you can comment in the comment box I will definitely help you out and we will see some more concept in the coming videos.
सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दिस वीडियो थैंक यू